Here we go, guys. Take a look at the daily chart of Bitcoin and the bears are out. Oh my goodness. You would think we're going to sub 12,000, uh, 12, maybe even 10,000 uh, the way they're talking. But let's look at let's look at the chart. Let's look at this thing realistically without emotions like a robot here. OK, OK. Yeah, we're uh, uh, right about now. We're almost 10 percent uh, pullback. OK, but you got to look at the other side of the coin back here. Uh, when we started uh, consolidating and then took off uh, at the first of the year, we ran as high as about over 80%, okay? So not bad. Yeah, we need a pullback, okay? Uh, not many things have run up 80% since the first of the year, okay? I'm just saying Bitcoin needs a little bit of a break. And we did have a little bit of pullback here, which is average. If you go back, look at history, pullbacks are not bad. They actually are needed to strengthen the chart, reset the chart, so on and so forth. Right here, we have a 22% pullback on, you know, uh, the one that happened obviously in February through, well, the 1st of March, okay? So let's say we have another 27% pullback. Well, let's, let's do even better than that. Let's say we have a black swan event and we just waterfall over all the way to this bottom trend line. And that's kind of there for a time stance, don't lie. Not that we're going to hit it, but, you know, hey, if you look at 2017, 2020, so on and so forth, we had pretty big uh, pullbacks, double-digit pullbacks. You know, nobody got, unless you didn't know what you were doing, nobody got hurt. Thank, you know, Bitcoin kept running to, you know, all-time highs, so on and so forth. But anyway, here's 27%, okay, which if you look back in history is about average, all right? And then you, of course, rally and, and keep going. Now, we can't get into a lot of these uh, structures here. That's for our Patreon members. They're paying for this information, but we can, you know, give you a little bit of information here. But this blue dash line is obviously, you know, cons uh, right under the consolidation zone as support that's going to help us. And then if you throw up the 50, uh, that's going to be a, you know, significant uh, moving average here uh, with basically two factors. And then we have this center trend line here that, you know, nobody's thought about putting on a chart. So technically, you know, we could, worst case scenario, you know, just come down uh, and ride that trend line, put in our W formation and, and continue the party. But if not, you know, we still have backup after that. Bitcoin has contingency plan after contingency plan after contingency plan to hold price up should we start, you know, uh, coming down here lower for, you know, whatever reason. So anyway, we're still bullish. We're still positive, you know, on Bitcoin uh, with everything going on out there. You know, banks crashing left and right, you know, foreclosures up, uh, repossessions up. But, you know, here we are. What, what did I say? 10%, you know, down on Bitcoin. Huh. But at the same time, hey, we're coming to the weekend uh, this is only the crypto market is only casino open over the weekend. So all the degenerate uh, gamblers are going to be out there and playing games. And normally uh, they play tricks on you around uh, Sunday evening uh, through, you know, the markets opening, uh, U.S. markets opening rather uh, Monday morning. So kind of be cautious of that. Um, you know, we're always, you know, expecting the you know, expect the best, but also be cautious of what could happen on the worst worst case scenario. And it's really not a worst case scenario. And we have this trick on our, and I'll give you a little tip here. Uh, on our Patreon member side, we have a little thing called, you know, fishing uh, buy stops. So anyway, we put in our fishing plans and meaning that we'll put, um, you know, buy orders down here at significant price levels. And who knows, maybe, you know, they should be called lotto plays, okay? And it might be like winning a lotto if we get a big wick down, hit one of those, uh, you know, fishing plays, uh, lotto plays down there a little deeper. And, you know, how Bitcoin loves to do it, you know, or any crypto, your altcoins too, come down, wicks down into a significant price level, and then bought up, bought up, bought up. And then everyone's stop losses are wiped out. Because the market is going to do what hurts the most, most meaning the most people and the most money leveraged out there. Okay, so that's why you got to think like a criminal 
and uh, you know to survive this game. And speaking of surviving this game, you have to trade with an unfair advantage. Okay, if you come in there, you know, without any trading experience, education, whatever, you know, they're gonna you know wipe you up in a heartbeat. And the reason why I know that because I I've, I've been there, done that to myself before. Okay. But I just didn't want to live the rest of my life knowing, you know, Wall Street kicked my ass, sent me home, took all my money. So, you know, I did what I had to do, part-time jobs, whatever, get the training, get the education uh, to be able to make this an ATM machine. But anyway, guys, I uh, want to, you know, thank you for watching. Any questions, concerns, put it in the comments. We'll try to get right back to you. And we will see you on the charts.